What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for all you rascals and rap scallions out there. Now, today's video is one of my very favorite there are to make, and that is a good old fashioned horror movie collection update. Now, it goes without saying, if you are a collector of physical media, nothing beats mail day when you get a couple new horror flicks in the mail and whatnot. So, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. Though it is the holiday season, so I haven't been buying as much. I think I have six six titles here. But I'm just going to show you guys what I have picked up. First is Jordan Peele's Get Out. I believe this is his directorial debut. Now, I know for a fact you guys all know about this movie. It's pretty recent, and you know me. I don't really uh, have more modern films in my collection. It's mostly 70s and 80s with a little bit of 90s. And... uh some early 2000s cheese mixed in between. But this one here, I've seen it once. I didn't mind it. It was pretty good for what it was. Definitely a, a nice like idea for a film. It was creative and everything. And I'm going to have to rewatch it to really get the full vibe. But this thing has been on Amazon for $4.99 on Blu-ray for the longest time. And I always pass it over. And like I said, it's Christmas. I'm saving my money. Trying to get everyone the right gifts. So, a baller on a budget, no, I'm no baller, but for the sake of it, baller on a budget, uh, deal, $5 seemed about right. Oh, I feel like such a douchebag for using that phrase. Just kidding, guys. All right, and uh, right here is the original Amityville Horror. This was another one I found really cheap for the same kind of scenario where I was just, uh, I, I bought one bigger title that was about 20 bucks. And I just kind of wanted a couple more, so I found some cheaper ones. And though this looks like a pretty basic version of the film, $5 I paid for this, I think, is not bad. To the point I almost forgot about this movie. Like, I feel like Poltergeist overshines this, at least for me. And I, I feel like there was, like, uh, cursed stuff going on on the set with this one as well. I feel like I remember that as a kid, hearing stories about how, like, weird shit was going on during filming. But... Either way, yeah, I, I remember liking this. It's been so long since I've seen this, but classic. So I had to throw that into the collection. Now, here's a good one. Sounds a little... I don't like that sound, but I can't have first world problems with this COVID and everything. If it's a little shaken up in there, oh well. This is one I've seen a million times on Amazon, and it always catches my eyes, just the cover, as simple as it is. The package with the blood coming out of the bottom offering. I must have read a, a bad review back in the day. It's probably why I never got it. But I finally decided to get it off of uh, one review that I read. Somebody straight up said this was just a Halloween copy. And I was like, well, fuck it. I, I love 80s slasher movies. And I love Halloween. I go, I don't really care because a lot of people said the burning was a ripoff of friday the 13th which i prefer the burning over the original friday the 13th so not that i think i will like this over uh john carpenter's halloween but i i do like some uh sleazy shitty 80s horror and i mean i haven't seen this yet i'm gonna give it a chance i'm excited this is like a almost 100 percent a blind buy besides the uh reviews i don't know what the killer looks like nothing i just know kind of a revenge slasher movie or whatever all right so here we go we have this is one that took a while for me to pick up larry conan the stuff now this is a little more science fictiony on top of the horror from what i remember but this is body horror 100 percent uh, i've seen clips of this before in the past with pretty much this, this is a story of like the stuff is like a product like a whipped cream or some kind of like dietary it looks like the substance of like whipped cream it's some kind of dietary food or something and everybody loves the taste of it they keep eating it in this small town and it's like making people go like street trash style body horror from what i uh, remember from what i've seen and i don't know i kept putting this one off as well i think cause i watched all the gory scenes on youtube but i was like i gotta give this one a chance a lot of people i respect that love horror, their opinion, they always put this one up pretty high. And it's an Arrow Video release, so you can never go, long, go wrong with Arrow Video. So, yeah, this is probably the, one of the nicer pickups I got. The stuff. Now, I don't know why I don't just get Shudder. There's just something in me that I, I've collected so much. I don't want to just stream. I, I canceled Netflix once I bought the Office 
complete series. But uh, this is one that's on Netflix, which I have a free trial with it, uh, Scare Package. I won't lie, I uh, I started this maybe a week or so ago and I got it, and I turned it off. I worked second shift. I think I was just too tired and wasn't really into it, but everything about this movie seems like something I would like. It's about a guy who runs like a dying video store, which I don't like dying video stores, but he's in a video store and he's hiring like a, a new guy, and... I think, like, through the way he explains everything with horror, it turns into, like, a horror anthology. And you guys know me. I love me some horror anthology films. So, I had to pick this one up. Uh, last couple titles I got as Shudder Originals were really good. I really like what Shudder does. And it comes with a free episode of Joe Bob Briggs' Last Drive-In, which uh, you really can't go wrong with uh, Joe Bob. Now, uh, here is one more that I put off for a while because this is like a weird scenario where this sequel has like a third or half the movie is a flashback from the first, which is very strange. But you know what? I said fuck it because the holiday season's coming up and it's going to be garbage day. <laughs> we all remember that classic line. But Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. I reviewed Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1 last Christmas, so I'll probably do a review for this one this Christmas. And this is a classic. This guy here, we all remember that moment with Garbage Day and everything. It even says it right here in the back. But, you know, th this is one I just had to get. It's Scream Factory. Scream Factory always puts out the best releases. It's going to look beautiful next to my Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1. And look at that beautiful cover. And I was, I was pleasantly surprised to get some slip covers with this. I'm not really a slip cover guy. But it's nice to get the slipcover of Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. So, yeah, this is a classic. They don't make many horror movies worth watching about Christmas time or other holidays for that reason. So, they're kind of fun. So, yeah, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. And that is pretty much all of it, my friends. Six pickups. I didn't really try to grab too much. Because, uh, like I said, it's the holiday season. And, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to invest more of my effort into buying nice gifts for other people, not just me. Though I have a couple in my cart right now online, so we'll see how it goes when I get done with my Christmas shopping today. But uh, anyways, yeah, uh, it's the end of November, and I hope everyone's doing all right. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. I'm just some dude from Detroit, Michigan, talking about horror movies. So th thanks again. I appreciate it. I hope everybody's having a good holiday. I know Thanksgiving was kind of strange. And uh, we're about to hit December. It's about to get cold. We're about to get back into that uh, Michigan weather. Christmas is coming up. I hope everyone has a good Christmas. Make sure to buy your family members some horror movies. If you if you guys have uh, any questions about horror films, which I don't think you would, because you wouldn't be watching this channel if you were not a horror fan, but if you want any suggestions on what horror movies to buy certain family members, send them my way. I would love that. That would be great. But other than that, uh, during this co coronavirus, you know, wear your mask, wash your hands. It's a crazy world out there. It's a jungle out here. So just uh, take care of yourselves, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. If I don't, if you guys don't see any of my videos uh, next week or the week following or whatever it may be, you know, happy holidays. Hope everyone has a good, safe one. Enjoy yourselves. Watch some horror movies, you sons of bitches. Blood, guts, gore. Check in next time.